Well, hello, good morning, everyone. Janet Legere here, and along with my partner, Don, we are your hosts each Thursday for our CLB Learning training webinars, where we're here to help and hopefully entertain you. So <laughs> we have a great call in store for you today, and I'm pretty excited about it. We've just, uh, it's actually going to be a little bit shorter call. Depends on you guys, okay? Depends on what you want to see at the end, how long it takes us to get through that. We are going to be talking about some of the changes that happened to our blogging system. And it you know, took a bit before we realized that it happened, but we've uh, rectified that. That's to do with our um, the Steam Press plugin. So I'm going to show you guys how to make those changes. We're going to start with a bit about who Don and I are, how we got here, why you'd want to pay attention to what we're doing. Uh, what we do does work. We're going to talk about what CLB learning is and how it works and then do our little team recognition. There's been quite a bit of activity happening at CLB reminding me that simple things really do work. And then we'll get into our training. I pardon for the hiccups. I've been drinking water. It is very, very cold here in Calgary this morning. I believe the wind chill was minus 43. It is uh, currently, I think, currently minus 28 degrees feels like minus 32. So uh, we had a discussion the other day that anything below minus 20 is just cold. Uh, do you agree, Lily? Lily's here in Calgary as well, so she knows what I'm talking about. It is, uh, it's a chilly one out there today. I usually go for groceries after our calls on Thursday. I don't know that I'm going to be doing that today. I might wait till tomorrow. It's going to be a little bit warmer. Just that little bit is it makes it a huge difference but yeah once it gets below t minus 20 it is extremely dry uh very bitter cold and it's just cold like it's not in my mind when it's minus feels like minus 43 it just feels cold <laughs> so anyways we're staying in staying warm today and thank you for being here to warm me up as well i just love being with you guys i love working with each and every one of you it's what don and i've been doing for the past 21 plus years goodness gracious i still i don't know Every day, I guess it's because I live in the moment. I live in today. I live in right now. And so the fact that we've been here over 21 years just boggles my mind some days. It's like absolutely incredible. Uh, Don and I have been around for a while. We actually met online back in 1998. <clears throat> 1998. And in 1999, we found ourselves with the opportunity to be here on the internet. And we took advantage of it. And I apologize. I can hear my chest wheezing a little bit. I have a little bit of asthma that reacts to this dry weather, so bear with me. I'll drink more water. Ah, Don and I have had great success in network marketing and affiliate marketing. In fact, the truth is that whatever we put ourselves behind, we become successful because we follow some very simple steps that we've been following since day one. Anybody want to tell me what the main thing we've been doing that has created success in every business we've been in it's just one thing it's one thing that i recommend everyone focus on it's one thing that matters the most in everything you do here online that's right build your list that's got to be your main focus whether you are focused on our clb learning funnel or you're focused on another funnel a lot of our members at clb learning are also part of Genesis Lifestyle Network and so they're promoting that funnel which is fine because it directs people here to CLB as well where we focus more on list building as well so there's really no right or wrong way to do this the right I shouldn't say that there there are ways that don't work but if what you're doing is working and building your list you're on the right track because that's where the magic happens uh, <coughs> oh pardon me Coming up two years ago, I published my first book. There it is, Get Stuck on Happy. This is a little bit of shameless self-promotion only because I'm really actually, I'm very proud of my book. I have started volume two, which will be more ways to change your thoughts and live a happier life. And uh, this is, these are things I practice every day. Um, am I happy 100% of the time? Mm, no. Uh, things happen, life happens, other people come into our circles that, you know, cause r disruptions in the vibrations. But Don will tell you, and so will everybody else who knows me, that as soon as I can, I'm back on that happy scale. 
right? I'm back on that happy track. Hey, Carola, great you could make it here, here today. And that's the key to success in your business, you know. Everything we teach you here at CLB Learning and everywhere else where you're learning, 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 doing, 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 those are all mechanical activities that anyone can learn to do. Would you guys agree with me there? That what you need to do on the internet, there, it's not magic. It, it's focus and determination and, you know, you just got to do those mechanical things. This, is, this isn't things you need to really think about a lot. The thinking comes into play when all of the activity that you're learning and doing, because initially that's what you need to focus on is that mechanical activity that generates the traffic that comes to your business. And we help you with that here at CLB Learning. We're a training and mentoring program with very simple step-by-step -step instructions on how to build your list. And not just how to build your list, but why to build your list and to really understand and appreciate the enormity of having the ability to create funnels using the conversion pros and you know whatever funnel system you're using if it's working great for you that's awesome because that's what it's all about it's all about having a very compelling very good capture page that gets your visitors name and email and hopefully their phone number i am a big proponent of asking for a phone number i do find that when I ask for a phone number, whether they leave their phone number on the, that page or not, they are more apt to take action on the next page. Has anyone else found that um, in their marketing? I, re I really have. It, it's I may get less subscribers, but they're more active subscribers and maybe even a little more real. Um, not always the case, but it is somewhat the case. <laughs> oh, I did this last time too. My goodness. All right, where were we? We were here, right? Now we're here. <laughs> then we'll go to the next page. All right, here we go. So how the heck does CLB Learning work? Well, it's very simple. I just want to get rid of those pages on my slides here. The first thing you do is set up your CLB funnel. So we give you some several options on capture pages to choose, redirecting your visitor to a landing page, which describes all about CLB Learning. We give you all the codes to set up your autoresponder, your capture page, landing page. Even with little or no experience at this, I truly believe if you follow our instructions, your funnel can be set up and going within a half hour, an hour at the most. Would you guys agree with me, most of you who've set up your CLB system? I mean, you know, If you have absolutely no experience and have never been in and looked at a program or followed instructions like that, it might take you a little more than an hour, uh, but I'm guessing that everyone here shouldn't take you more than half an hour to get that set up. Would you guys agree? It's a very simple process, but while you're doing it, what's happening is you're learning how to use that program because in the future, trust me, well, those that are leaders out there and those that are really applying these techniques, are going to be creating more and more capture pages, creating pages with little changes on them and trying new things because that's how you really create um, consistent activity in your business is by changing things, right? Because you don't want to have the same thing out there all the time. Once your funnel's set up, then it's simple. You just send traffic to your capture page. That's it. That's all. That traffic is going to generate subscribers to your list. So you're going to get people that subscribe to your capture page. They're going to be added to your autoresponder list where you can follow up with them anytime you want. If you're using the Conversion Pros app, which I absolutely love and recommend that you get on your cell phone, what happens is once you've got the app on your phone and you log into the app, you're going to get notifications. You can see right here, there we go, it says, you got a new contact. If I click on that, it will bring that contact up. So I can click on that contact and it's going to bring that contact up uh, right in my app. Now you can see, you see how the email is lit up, but the phone and SMS is not. It's because he's come in through a capture page that does not ask for a phone number. And so I can't send an SMS text or a message. However, here's one that does have a phone number 
And so I would be able to just click on there. I could give that person a call. So it would bring it right up. If I bring up the, the thing, it will come in and confirm the number and I can call that person or I can send a text message. Same thing, it'll come up there. I just confirm that and it'll bring up my text message and I can give him a, a text or I can give him a call. So I really love the TCP app. I, I find what it does is it allows my business to certainly be more mobile, certainly to be more convenient because everybody's right here and I have access to those people. I can send an email right from my phone. Uh, those emails are more likely to reach their inbox than the emails that you're gonna be sending from your autoresponder. Traffic is not a difficult thing. Traffic is where you're gonna be spending some of this, okay? So I'm gonna tell you right now, this is not a free business. Uh, there are a lot of people on the internet that, that do use a lot of free resources to build their business. I do use some. There are a lot of free ways to build your business. You can spend time on social networks and connect one-on-one -on -one with people and use groups and you know blog and, and get yourself out there and, and you know get at people and spend hours online every day do, making those connections that you can do that. You can build your business that way. You can build your business for free. However, the most effective and most efficient way to do it is by investing in your business, investing in solo ads, starting to build those lists, building the the trust with those lists because the truth of the matter is most people that subscribe to what we're uh, inviting them to do are not going to take action right away and some of those even those who take action and become a free member aren't necessarily going to jump in and take action right away that's where follow-up comes in that's where everything we do becomes magic for you because with CLB learning once they join CLB now we take over. I'm going to be following up with them about your links, the, the links that are in the downline builder of CLB Learning. Uh, when I send an email to everybody in CLB Learning, those links are connected to you, provided that you have filled out the information in the downline builder. So that's where it gets very lucrative for you because you, you're you bringing people into CLB Learning. I'm helping them learn to do these steps that we taught you. And so what happens is, when someone new that you bring into CLB Learning starts taking action, starts following our steps, downloads the quick start guide and starts following the setup guide, sets up their funnel, joins the programs in the downline builder, guess who they're going to be joining? They're going to be joining with you. So they're gonna set up their system just like you did. They're gonna duplicate everything you're doing and the same thing will happen for them. They'll start to attract leads into their business. Those leads are going to become members in CLB Learning and some of those members are going to follow suit. They're going to take action. They're gonna follow the steps that we teach them here. We call this duplication. Now, add the magic of follow-up to your business and boom, you have a definite winner. And on top of all that, at CLB Learning, we also have the ability for you to promote any business that you wish to promote. So if you're in another network marketing company or a program that's not in our downline builder, you can put that as your primary business. And when I email our CLB members about the, the importance of having a primary business, they will get your link. So isn't that awesome? You can see that through the system we have here, by you following the steps, creating your funnel, sending traffic to your funnel, and following up, you're gonna create multiple streams of income from the programs and tools that we use to teach our members and teach your downline to do exactly what you're doing. It just makes sense. It makes absolute perfect sense. You guys agree? Yeah, I know you do. There are three basic steps to CLB learning, and these steps, my friends, are not a secret. This isn't something unique to CLB learning, okay? I'm not going to tell you it is. Maybe other people will tell you it is, <laughs> that it's unique to their system. But this is what you need to do regardless of what business you're promoting. Would you guys agree? Number one, you need a funnel. You need a good funnel. You need a funnel that's going to convert. You need a funnel that's going to do what you need it to do. Number two, you need to advertise that capture page to feed traffic through your funnel. You need to get people into your system. That's number two. And number three is up to you. That's following up and following through. And this takes time, my friends. Um, it's the one area I think that most people get frustrated with first. Would you guys agree with that? 
because I know that for many people, they're following up, they're following up, they're said, you know, phoning people, they're leaving messages, they're they're calling people, they're texting people, they're sending emails, they're doing all these things, and nothing is happening. Nobody's responding, and that can happen in the beginning. Okay, some people hit it lucky, and you know, magic starts happening right away. And for others, it can take a little time. So it really is about uh, polishing up your approach, polishing up your traffic, making sure that you're getting good traffic, that the traffic that's coming to your page is, is working, that your page is working, that you're getting leads, that those leads are becoming members. And from there, those are where you're gonna get the action people. But you've gotta keep that funnel going and going and you gotta keep following up with the funnel you already have. And one day it will just pop and I don't know when that day will be for you, okay? That's gonna be different for everyone. I know some of you in here have earned income over the years, some of you earn income consistently, some of you earn it haphazardly, and if you look at what you're doing and you're absolutely 100% honest with, with everything that you're doing here on the internet, you can pinpoint exactly why your income is not steady or why things are not the way you want them to be. And it all boils down to having that system in place and being consistent about getting good traffic through your funnel. That, that's it. That's the magic to making any of this work on the internet. Having a good program to promote, that's number one. You need to have a good program. You need to have a good team. It's why I get excited, more and more excited every day because of the team that we are amassing here through CLB Learning and through the Genesis Lifestyle Network. Partnering up with Jared to uh, provide that as a high ticket product here at CLB Learning was one of the best things I think we've ever done because what it did was increase the team effort. It increases the, the family. It makes our family grow and it makes the ability for people to actually start making some income if they follow these simple, simple steps. And that's the key. And your job is to keep following these steps until the magic happens. Because I believe 100,000 billion percent that the magic will happen. Don and I have been here for over 21 years. We are proof positive that the magic will happen. If you follow certain things, if you do certain things, magic will happen. Do you, you, you have to be consistent. I've been consistent forever. And Don can tell you, we know when I'm not being consistent, when I'm not on my game, because the old things kind of flatten out. And then once I'm back being consistent, it is... So there's no, um, anybody out there selling you secrets to making this work online are just good copywriters. Let's put it that way. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's do a little bit of recognition. Big shout out to Munawar Hussein, who's one of our brand new members here at CLB Learning. Came in, got his funnel set up, bought some traffic and boom. 23 new members have come through to CLB Learning already. Uh, he's pretty excited about that, just starting to learn how to follow up. All of this is brand new to him, okay? Brand new to him doing affiliate marketing this way, and he's really you know, starting to apply himself to this, but the magic really can happen. Elizabeth, Elizabeth Ramsack with two new members this week, Steve Ackerman with one, Motes Rulaka with one, and Karen Gates with one. You guys are rocking it, and I know that we're going to see you rocking it more. Now, what I want to say here for all of you that are, you know, are or aren't promoting CLB Learning directly, and I, and I recognize that most of you are focusing your time promoting your GLN funnel, and that's fine. Okay, there's nothing wrong with that. In fact, that's what I encourage our people to do because that is where the money is. However, what you want to do, and this is important, so as you build that list for GLN, my list for GLN is quite large, you want to be sending a broadcast or even add to your follow-up messages. Remember, you can add to your follow-up messages, add messages about CLB Learning, where they can come and learn the basics of list building because that's the only focus that we have here, is teaching people how to create a funnel that works, how to adjust their funnels, how to add themselves to their, their list building, and how to build a very responsive, active list. So do you see how that works? So the people that you introduce to CLB Learning, your leads and your new members, you're gonna to introduce to the programs in our Downline Builder, which include GLN, and you're really gonna to wanna to encourage them to come there, as that's our high ticket item. 
everybody needs that. In GLN, the opposite is absolutely true. Through GLN, they're going to be introduced to CLB Learning, where they can come and learn our basic list building strategies. So the two dots connect, and I do see people coming in, new members coming into CLB Learning every day that I know are coming directly from the GLN system. And so if it's working for other members, it's going to work for you too. Do you see how that works, guys? And Dawn's right, when you slow down, your business does do, it does as well if you are being consistent. Now, sometimes putting more time into my business isn't producing more results. So you really have to watch what you're doing. It's those income producing activities, which is about 20% of the time you spend in your business is producing 80% of your results. So those are the things, activities that you need to focus on and make sure that you're being consistent with on a daily basis. All right, and that's how you're going to see your business grow and continue to grow. And don't get discouraged. And when you do get discouraged, let's have a talk because I'll try and pump you up as best I can. Because the truth of the matter is the only way to fail here in this business is to do nothing. If you continue to get your funnel growing and you learn to master that art of follow up and connection and getting your name out there, getting you out there because... People buy from people they know and people only get to know you when they get to hear from you more and more. Yeah, that's right. My daughter asked last night, how much do you time like spend in your business? <clears throat> and we, yeah, I figured about three hours a day, sometimes a little more when I've got webinars. Uh, so when I have webinars, there's a little more time involved preparing for webinars and sending those emails. Uh, we also own programs. And so because we own programs, we're spending some time on those programs as well, doing support and follow-up. But business-wise, building our business and, and working the business is probably about three hours a day. And most people have that. Lots of busy work. Yeah, we have lots of busy work and lots of fun work. And, you know, everything isn't productive and yet it all is. So today I'm going to talk about the CLB blogging platform. We're going to go through what it is and how it works, who has access to it. I know many of our members who are on here today already have access to our blogging platform. So you're going to be excited about the changes. I forgot to add that to this, but we're going to be talking about the changes that have taken place over the last few days and how you can edit your blog so that your posts are compliant. Now, if you don't have a blog or don't know what a blog is, and a lot of people don't, you know, it is, and this is something you all need to remember, okay, and, and I have to remind myself and I have to remind our leaders that every day there are so many people coming online that are brand new to all this. And so many people who really, even if they've been online a while, really have no idea how to do any of this business stuff, don't understand anything about viral mailers, don't understand anything about solo ads, don't understand anything about funnels, don't understand anything about lists, don't understand anything about blogs. Brand new, okay? But those people have the ability and the desire to learn. And one of the ways that you can help them learn is through your blog. So what is a blog? And I know there's still lots of people who don't have a blog, don't know what a blog is, have never had a blog, and that's why CLB Learning is here. Pardon me. Oh, <coughs> pardon me. Sorry. I, I could only do one of two things. I could either grab Kleenex or push the mute button. But my apologies. Wow. That came out of nowhere. So a blog is really a shortened version of a web log. So this is a place just like a journal. Okay, so... I don't know if you guys journal. I have a journal. This is my, my journal. Right now my journal has started you know, part two of Get Stuck on Happy. There it is. Okay. So I have started that. I've done lots of journaling in here, as you can see. So whether you journal here or on a blog, that's basically what you're doing. Now on a blog, though, you might be blogging about things that are a little different than you would in your journal. Okay. Now some people do have a, a blog and they journal just like they would on their in their journal but for most parts your journal is you're blogging about things that you're doing online and that's what the CLB Blur CLB learning blog is really all about is giving you the ability to blog about what you're doing here online and attracting people to CLB learning while you're doing it all right so let's go on here so what is the CLB blogging platform well this is a personal blog set up on contactlistbuilder.com so the story behind this, if you don't know it, way back in the day, back in 2003, when we first began CLB Learning, it was actually called the Contact List Builder. And the, the 
website address was contactlistbuilder.com. And when in 2003, we changed the membership script and we went to the script that it's on now. And when we did that, because we'd had a blog on contactlistbuilder.com and I still wanted to have a blog, but I couldn't have a blog on the same link as the membership website. And so we developed clblearning.com to be the, the membership website for CLB Learning. Now we used to have it set up so that contactlistbuilder.com redirected to CLB Learning, but again, with the new software that we had, we weren't able to do that. And so we decided to simply have two different websites. Contactlistbuilder.com became our main blog for CLB Learning. And then just last year, my wonderful husband uh, found a way for us to network our blog, to allow our members to have their own personal blog on our CLB Learning Network. So who here thinks that's pretty cool? I know that Michael Lipsy thinks it's pretty cool because Michael does a blog post just about every day. And Michael is a fine example of how to use the CLB Learning blog. So he's doing a great job and I know he's going to continue to do so because what that's doing is getting him out there. Now, Michael, I have one question for you. Uh, and hopefully you'll be able to type in the text chat. I'm not sure if you can or not. And if not, you can let me know on on Telegram when we connect. Um, when you do your blog posts, because I know you do them every day, do you go into your autoresponder in the Conversion Pros and or wherever you're using your autoresponder where your leads are and send an email asking people to read your blog post? Because that's one thing I think people are missing that they're not doing. You know, we, we talk about sending your, your post on Facebook, sharing it on Facebook, sharing it in our group, getting people to read it. But one of the things you really need to remember to do is send that blog out to your subscribers that you already have. Because, and let me tell you, when you do that, people are going to open your email. People love reading blog posts. And, you know, you can say, you know, new blog post on such and such. You've got to share. That is part of your marketing. So this is what the blog looks like. You do have the ability to change what it looks like, okay? So as you're going to see when we go into live desktop sharing and you see some of the blogs that are on our system. Now, up at the top uh, where it says list building with CLB Learning, that will have your name on it. On the right-hand side where it says get started with CLB, that's going to be linked directly to CLB Learning to your link. And the blog post that's on the main page that says welcome to contact list builder marketing blog is going to have your name and be linked to your CLB learning um, affiliate page as well. And up at the top where it says who are we and what do we do that's a page that introduces Don and I talks a bit about our history who we are pretty much a lot of what we talk about on the call here today. And on that page, there is a link to CLB Learning and that link is also connected to you. Other than that, the blog is yours. You can now post, you can change that title, you can change the picture, you can change the theme. We do have uh, a few themes to choose from. You can add an opt-in form to your blog. Um, there's a few plugins you can add. You cannot add more plugins to the blog. There's certain things you can't do because it is a networked blog. So everyone has access to the same things. Uh, if you happen to uh, know of a plugin that you would like to see in the network, let us know. We'll see if it's available as a networked plugin. And uh, if we think it's a value to our members, we'd be happy to install that for you. So who has access to our blogging system? Well, the blogging system is available to all of our upgraded members at CLB Learning. And uh, we do have a promo on right now. We have an offer when someone becomes a new member or when they log in as a free member, they can join and get a lifetime membership for just $247. And that includes a lifetime membership to the CLB Learning blog, as well as some one-on-one -on -one, uh, coaching, some upgrades in our uh, mailers, some additional credits in our mailers, and most importantly, the one-on-one -on -one coaching and getting everything set up and done for you. If you are already an upgraded member, you can log in to CLB Learning and on the left-hand side, you're going to see some menu items and down at the bottom is a menu item to upgraded membership bonuses. On that page, you're going to find a link to the networked blog for you to have a look at. 
And just below that is a link to register for your own blog. So you can click that link, put in the password, fill out the form. If you don't know your CLB Learning ID number, it is in your back office under the affiliate toolbox. But if you don't know that number or where to find it, don't worry about it because I can look it up. Once you fill out the form, I'm going to create the blog for you manually. So this is something that I do personally. As soon as that blog is set up, you're going to receive an email from me letting you know that it is ready. And you're going to receive two emails from the WordPress system. And these emails are to activate your account and activate your username. Whoops, I went the wrong way there. What did I do? Where did I go? You do me, you me. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. Stop. 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 Just. Just stop. Here we stopped. Good. No, we're not stopped. All right. We're gonna pause this. I pushed the play button. Is what happened. All right. Let's start here. Well, <laughs> are you guys dizzy yet? <laughs> yeah. Two forty-seven U.S. Uh, Lily. That's that's right. But we'll, we'll talk about that. Okay. Um. You are already a, a monthly member, so if you haven't already subscribed to get your blog, make sure that you do. I think you did, though. I think I already set yours up. So the changes to the blogging system are um, in relation to the Steam Press plugin. And what the Steam Press plugin does is when you post a blog post on your Contact List Builder blog, uh, if you have your the Steam Press information set up, it will post your blog to the Hive network and also to the CTP Talk network. Why does that matter? Well, if you're very active and if you're active in those networks and you're following people and you're posting regularly, your posts are getting liked by other members and commented on by other members and upvoted by other members. And when that happens, you're earning income. You're earning Bitcoins. Okay or other, you're earning cryptocurrency. And so that's, it's, a, it's just a way for, it's what we call passive income. It's, it's something that you're just adding to your blog. It helps to monetize your blog. And it's just a simple process to get it set up. So the new plugin, we have removed the Steam Press plugin. Uh, so you'll know if you were using the Steam Press plugin in the past, it is not working, okay? It's not even there. We have removed it from the system. I'm gonna show you how to go in and set up the EXP plugin. It's exactly the same as the Steam Press plugin. It is a pretty phenomenal bonus, absolutely. So you're just gonna go under the settings, you're gonna set up your Hive details, and under the users, you're gonna set up the Hive details individual for individual users. So you wanna make sure that you set your, your individual user um, Hive information set up. <coughs> Pardon me. And that is so that when you do a blog post and you're the author, it's going to take your information and post it to your Hive network. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? My mousey mouse. We're going to go into live desktop sharing and I'm going to show you guys all of that. Uh, the other changes that are hap have happened is that what I've noticed is when I've gone into the blog, there is now a cookie notice and compliance. And uh, Don, I'm going to get you to look into that a little further for me. I did find out, uh, and I'm going to show you guys how to uh, get past the screen because it, when I first saw it, I'm like, okay, this is great. What do I do? So you're going to see a notice. You just scroll down and click the remind me later button. All right, so as soon as we, because uh, we are, all of the sites are GDPR uh, compliance, they're all cookie compliance. Uh, when you bring up your blog, it has a little thing at the bottom that says, you know, we use cookies and what have you. So this is just updating that to make our blogs legal. So we'll, uh, if there's any further action that you need to do, we will let you know. All right, so we're going to go live. I am going to go through some, uh, go through the blog and show you the blog. We're going to talk about some tips about blogging, about writing a blog post, things to do, uh, whatever we have time for. But initially, uh, my main focus here is to show you how to um, set up your Hive information because it's really cool when it happens. Okay, so I'm going to share the screen. Here we are. You guys are seeing my desktop. Yes. Just like to check with everyone. For a little while there, the desktop sharing wasn't working and I never did figure out why, but 
All right, good stuff. Okay, so here we are. Uh, the first thing I want to show you, because if you go into your blog, to into your dashboard to change your Hive information, you might be presented with this. In fact, some of you may have already been presented with it. It just came up for me yesterday. Uh, so when you come down here, this is somebody else's blog. You can scroll down here, so there's two sections, see? Scroll down here, you can watch the live demo or you can just click Remind Me Later. So if you watch the live demo, it just brings up this information so that it shows you what your blog is gonna look like, right? And you, you were use your, this is all, everything we have. So you can just click here, add compliance, and then you're done, right? We don't need to sign up for anything and we can skip this for now. All right, and there we go. Now, if you don't want to do that, you can just say remind me later, but that's how you get rid of that. So that's that. So now we are in the back office. This is uh, my personal blog. Um, I want to show you two things. So I'm going to go over here to Dawn's blog. So we're on the dashboard. So just let me show you what the blog looks like. All right, so here's what my blog looks like. And there it is, right? And there's our cookie thing. We use cookies and I just say, okie dokie. Um, there's my new post. And then the contactlistbuilder.com has a blog on it as well. So if we just go to the main blog, you'll see it looks quite different. But again, it's, so I did a blog post here as well. All right, so those are my two blogs. And here is uh, Don's blog, it looks a little different. And if we go and look at Don's blog, so his looks a little looks exactly the same. He does it just says Donald Legere up here, uh, and he's got his posts here. So his blog looks a little different than mine does. So you'll see that on mine, I have an opt-in form here. Um, we show you how to add that. There are some challenges, some coding issues with the TCP app. So I have found uh, if I do it as an administrator, it seems to work okay. So I'm not sure why that is. Uh, but at the end of the day, if you want that set up, I'd be happy to do it. So let's go back over to here into Dawn's back office. So I said that we needed to go to two places. We needed to do it under our settings. And you'll see down here, EXXP. So we're going to click on that. And this is where you're going to enter your Hive username and your Hive password. Okay. So I could put, I could put that in there and activate Dawn's. So I'm not going to right now because what I want to show you, uh, because it's not set up, it's not connected to the network, right? So if I go over here to users, well, whoops. Oh, Don, you don't have a user set up. Well, hooey. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll come over to mine and show you how it's supposed to look. But I can set it up under the settings here. EXP. And this is where you're going to put your Hive username and your Hive password. And you're going to save that. So you'll have a private posting key and it's going to come up with this information and we're going to scroll down here and we have green lights. Okay. It says connectivity to the Hive server is okay. Default user known posting key is okay. And so now, you know, my, this one has a default administrator is posting and so that's okay, but it will pick up that information. So if we come over here under users, I have a user so if I edit my user and you'll see when I come down here there's my exp options okay now what I want to do here is change these tags and I'm whoops sorry ctp talk ctp this will uh, post it to the ctp network and then I, I just want to put my own oops you'll be learning I like to put my name because you know why not <laughs> and that that's good for now maybe I'll put list building and so those are the tags it's the system's gonna pick up but most importantly are these two that's what will post it to the hive network and you'll see that it says that my connectivity to the hive server is okay that's what you need to see in order for your posts to get posted automatically to the hive network 
And so the, once you've got that set up, when you come in to make a blog post, so if I click here to add a new blog post, um, I could write my blog post, right? Add my title and put in my blog post. So maybe we'll write one together here. And then when I come down here, you'll see at the very bottom, it says EXP options published to Hive. I want to make sure that that's turned on. Write my blog post, post it, and it will post automatically to the Hive network. Do you guys want to go and see that? Because I, the post I did yesterday on Contact List Builder, once I got this all sorted, I uh, did post automatically to the Hive network. So I'm just going to come into the room here. How does it get traffic? Are you referring to the blog, Lily? The blog gets traffic by you sharing it. Okay, and it's going to get traffic on um, the Hive network. So let me just go show you the, the CTP talk network and the Hive network. The CTP talk network, you would get through um, CTP, uh, Click Track Profit, which is in the downline builder of CLB Learning. Sorry about that, guys. I had a little, um, little brain fart there for a minute. So where was I going? Right. So I want to come over here to the Hive. So it's hive.blog. I'm going to show you how to get your Hive network. So here we are. This is the Hive network. It automatically logged me in. Uh, if I log out of here, it will come up with an option for you to log in or sign up. And so you just click on the sign up um, and I'll show you that in a minute. But first I want to come here to my blog. I think oh no, I just come up here. I got, I'm just trying to find my post that I did so I can show you that it did indeed post it here. So here it is. All right, introducing the new GLN plan. If I click on that, it brings up my whole blog post. Okay, so there it is. And if you look down here, you know, there's people have, have uh, posted on it. it we've, it's been upvoted and I received, you know, more than 600 upvotes. So I had a, I got a badge or something, I'm not sure. But what happens is when people come to this, uh, if they comment or upvote, now, if I go to CTP Talk, it should be here as well. And again, this is all, um, and there it is. Okay, introducing the new plan. So it hasn't been um, upvoted yet, except by me, <laughs> but that, that will happen. All right, okay. But there, you know, there it is. Actually, it has been, and you'll see that it earned 3.1 click. CTP tokens. Uh, this one down here earned 30 of them. You'll see that this one earned 58 tokens. So that's earning me income in my wallet in CTP Talk. And in Hive, it's a different wallet. Okay, so there's two different things happening here, all by you simply creating a blog post. Okay, so this is the blog post that I did on Contact List Builder right here. And this is the post that posted to Hive and to CTP Talk. So let me come back in the room. Does that make sense? Is that pretty easy stuff? Uh, so I'm just going to show you how to get a Hive account because you're, you need all these. And when you set up your Hive account, do it when you have no other distractions going on. Because I remember when I did it, it's all Greek. Okay, I don't understand any of it, but I was just trying to follow the instructions to get all my keys. Make sure you open Notepad or WordPad, somewhere where you can p paste things in and save a file because you're going to want to save. There's four different keys you're going to get that you need to save. So let's go back over here to Hive Network and I'm going to log out. So here we go. You can log in or sign up. So if I click sign up, you're going to sign up for Hive. And this this is where I got really messed up the first time I came in here was, oh, who am I supposed to sign up with? Look at all these different things. They just pick one. Some of them you're, you're going to pay. Some of them are free. And so I when I signed up, I used Hive on board. And you can verify it instantly with your phone. Uh, with Essency, you can use email. So there's, this one is email. So you can come here. If you have a phone, you're going to create your account. So you're going to create a username, uh, agree to the services, and just follow the information. And when you get to the point where it gives you all your keys, because you're going to get 
Uh, I'm just going to show it to you very, um, I mean, the keys, now I'm not going to bring up the keys because every key is individual to you. So you get a private posting key, a public posting key, and there's two other keys that you're going to get. Make sure you put those in a file and save them. Okay, that's very important. And then when, once that's done, now you have the information for you to come here to put into your, um, into your blog under your settings, EXXP. So once you get your username and your posting key, the first place you're gonna do is put it here. And you're gonna, this is where you're gonna wanna put your C, your default tags as well. So that if you don't put tags on your blog, it'll automatically go there. If you forget to add those tags to your blog, it will automatically add them. And always make sure that your um, connectivity is saying okay before you go and do a blog post because if it's not working when you do a blog post and then it gets working again, that blog post doesn't uh, generate into the system. It's not recognized in the system. It only recognizes new blog posts. Alrighty, that took longer than I thought. <laughs> any questions on any of that? Darla, did that help with how to get signed up with Hive and what have you? Uh, let me go in and show you where to find CTP Talk. Because inside CTP Talk, there is a tremendous amount of training, okay? And I mean a tremendous amount of training. It's, it's incredible training. Don't spend all your time in there taking all the training. Go and take the training that, that you need or that's applicable to you. So you come to your downline builder. And down here, we have Click Track Profit. All right, uh, I do have to change this because I've removed the mastery course for now. So you're gonna click here to go to Click Track Profit. I'm already a, a member. Uh, so you would just fill in your information. It's free to sign up. And then you're gonna log in. Uh, and once you come in here, this is going to create, you're gonna come in here and once you have Click Track Profit, it gives you access to the CTP Talk Network. All right, so you're gonna have your, uh, your account set up and when you log in here, there is a ton of training. Look at lessons. It's taking a while to come up. There we are. So you can see I've completed a lot of these, but there's a lot of welcome message, click, track, profit. And there you go. And then there's a whole bunch of other things. And here's the CTP talk. So when you want to come here, you get an intro, you'll get to learn all about it. And it'll give you a little more explanation of how it all works. But at the end of the day, once your blog is set up and you come in here and you have your EXXP set up, you're just going to come in here. You're going to create a new blog post. Uh, so what can we create a new blog post about today? How about tips on blogging? <laughs> I will come back here and add the video. Um, all right, today, all right, blogging, you know, and I, I could put lots in here. I, I, I'm just not, I'm trying to think of, I could go back and grab an old, old blog post. I really wanted to post something I could actually post for you guys, something simple, maybe a poem even. Let's see, why don't we do, I could go find a motivational poem Motivational whoop, poem. Oh, I didn't want images, but that's okay. Here we go. There's some inspirational poem. I don't know if you guys have ever done this. So there's a whole bunch of poems here that you can go in and you could copy a poem. Um, maybe what I want to do is I could you know get a quote from. Ah, I'm not making this easy for myself. Sorry, guys. Uh, motivational quotes by Abraham Hicks. I am an Abraham Hicks fan. I don't know if most of you are familiar with Abraham Hicks or not. Uh, she is, uh, Esther Hicks is an incredible woman. Oh, there's so many things that have happened from, since I've been a part of, uh, uh, I mean, I, I guess, you know, I could even put a quote from my book 
Oh, hey, Janet, let's make this simple, okay? Tips on happiness. Get stuck. I'm gonna make this really short. Stuck on happy is a book with strategies to help you change your thoughts and live a happier life. My favorite activity is the is the oh, vibrational cards that you can create from old business cards or even use index cards. On each card, write a different motivational word, such as one, two, three, more happiness, more gratitude, whoop, gratitude, more love, more friends, more reading, more Oh, more, more health, more activity. You get the point. Now, I wonder if I can find a picture of my vibration cards because I would love to include that, but that's okay. You get the point. Find out more about Get Stuck on Happy on our Happy Peter. There we go. And I can put the link to my website. And no, this doesn't have anything to do with CLB. It's just a, on my blog post. I really wanted to edit that and have it op open in a new tab. There we go. All right, so there we go, tips on happiness. Now I wanna take these and make them, oh, I can't, right? I have to do it differently to indent them. That's all right, I'm gonna leave them the way they are. I just wanted to make a short post. All right, so then I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna put some tags. I'm gonna put get stuck on happy and then I'm gonna put CTP talk. There, whoop. Oi, get stuck on happy. CTP talk and CLB learning. All right, there we go. And I don't want need a featured image at this point. I'm just going to leave that as it is and publish it. There's a whole point here. I'm going to publish that. There we go. Now, can view our post. It's a pretty blank, naked post, tips on happiness. Uh, but now I can go over to the Hive Network. Can log back in. And hopefully it remembers me. No, it didn't. Anyway. <laughs> I get, let me go to... I need an at in there. Sorry, guys. At. There we go. Look at that. You see it? Tips on happiness. Bing, bada, boom. Now, if I come over to CTP Talk. Okay, it didn't come up here, but it should. So I'll have to check. Sometimes that takes a little longer, uh, but it will be there. 
but it's pretty cool that it's on well let me go back on the hive network because it, it's here so i need to go and upvote that and say yeah oh it needs my info so i have to come back here and enter my info and that's in your hive keys you'll be setting all that up when you get this going trust me <laughs> all right there we go that is it for me today i'm just going to bring it out of, out of desktop sharing and come back to the room and see if you guys have any questions and did you catch all that especially for oh looks like we lost michael hopefully he got most of that because i know that uh he was really curious about that. And Darla, I hope it all made sense for you. So now it's take action time, guys. This is where if you got something out of this, this webinar today, go and tell people about it. Tell people why you love CLB Learning and invite them to come and be part of our family. We would love to invite them in and show them how we do or what we do. Uh, yeah, you'll have to reapply for a Hive account and set yours up. You can change your picture on your blog, absolutely. So to do that, the picture, so this is something we need to talk about, little tips um, for doing things online, okay? Because there's a program out there, I'm just gonna put it in here, it's called gravatar.com. You go there and sign up, it's free, and it's all connected through WordPress. Um, and so then what you wanna do is you're gonna set up Whatever email addresses you use, you can set up multiple email addresses. I have quite a few. You then upload a picture to the Gravatar system and attach it to the emails. And so then whenever you post anything with that email address, whether it's on Facebook or um, well, not so much on Facebook as their own thing, but on in your WordPress or when you're posting in, in Telegram or any of those messenger programs, it'll have your picture. Okay, so make sure you go get that set up because a lot of programs are using Gravatar as the app to get your avatar in the program. Okay, does that make sense? Does that make sense, Lily? The header you can change absolutely. Uh, the, so the header picture is the same on everybody's blog. Uh, let me just go back into desktop sharing real quick as it doesn't take any time at all. As I want to show you, I'm going to come back to the blog here. In the main blog, I want to show you some of our, uh, when your blog is all set up, and I'm not, some of these I'm missing, I don't have everybody on here, but I will add your blog to our member showcase, okay, right here, this is everyone's blogs, and I wanted to come here and find Michael's, because I know that he's always playing with his blog, okay, so he, now he's traveling trucker content, he used to be Michael the traveling trucker, and he's changed it uh, quite a bit, you'll see he's put his own picture, of course, of a rig, because it only goes with my, the traveling trucker, who I am and what I do, resources, get started with CLB. So he's created a resource page here so you can add pages. We've done training how to do that as well. So you'll see here he has uh, tr uh, resources that he recommends that he uses regularly. And so there's lots of things that you can do here. You'll see his picture comes up in his blog as well. Uh, one of the other things you can do with your blog, I can show you in mine. So when we go to my blog, you see I have author information here. So you set that up in your user. So when you come to your, uh, in your back office here under users, I'm gonna set up, I click on edit your user, So because your user right here. Biographical info about the user. So this is where you wanna put that information and you can change your profile picture as well, okay? Easy peasy. All righty. That's good stuff. Uh, premium. I don't, don't know anything about the premium, Darla. There, that shouldn't, it shouldn't come up with that. You just need your Hive it, username and password. Okay, I'm not sure why it's coming up with premium. I'll look into that after our call here today. Any questions? Anything else? I'm going to wrap things up. We're right at the top of the hour. I love that. I love being right on time. You guys are awesome. We're going to be back here next Thursday. Same time, same back channel. We're going to be doing some more list building strategies. Uh, lots of things on my mind that I want to talk about as we move forward this year. Uh, lots of things to help in inspire you and motivate you to do more for yourself. Because that's what this is all about. I'm here to help you. 
improve everything you're doing here online so that you can have better results, so that your income can grow and your freedom can grow. I love you guys. Thank you for being here. If you need me, I'll be around most of the day. Reach out to me. Uh, if you're watching the replay, reach out to me. My information is everywhere. Love you guys. Have a great week. We'll see you next time. SCLB Learning. Really appreciate you all.